yesterday, an angry Old Testament God brought biblical destruction down on the world of rock and roll. You know, I've been here for all 11 years of Rock on the Range, and it really has been very, very lucky in terms of weather and conditions. There have been many years where you could look off like a mile and see a thunderstorm, but nothing ever really hit. You get some sprinkles now and then. Yesterday, crapped out. Yesterday oh, rolled snake eyes weather-wise. The water was coming in sideways backstage. You know, there were reports of a funnel cloud not too far away, and uh, what it really is with outdoor concerts like this, rain doesn't bother promoters, it doesn't bother bands. They don't like their gear getting wet, but they know how to cover that up. The minute that there's lightning involved, safety comes first. But I, I gotta say this, everyone cleared out, everyone got back in, and every band played. Every single band played, I believe, when we opened back up. So no, you just had to pick and choose because they were going on the same time. So I'm glad the promoters pushed that forward. Yeah, I mean, the promoters have done this stuff long enough, uh, and, and Danny and Gary and everybody who put this together, who are fantastic people, who do such a great job, and they care a lot about the fans and the bands, which is one of the reasons why I, I was such a, a big proponent from it from day one. It's a great experience for people because we've all been to shows where you kind of figure that the promoter doesn't give a rat's patootie about the people now that, you know, you got my money and now there's not enough bathrooms, the parking is a zillion bucks, the, 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 there's bad ways that they can screw you. And those kind of festivals, it's not like I'm gonna talk bad about them on the air, I'm just not gonna talk about them at all. I just, I just won't have anything to do with them. So I believe in this place and they do a number of other festivals around the country. They do a really nice job on that and uh, I'm, I'm just happy to be here. And I'm glad to see that, that, back to the original point, that they had such an amazing backup plan to get everybody in and out. That's super important. We've all heard about tragedies at places. The most important thing is safety. Uh, I always tell people, whether you're at a concert, large or small, know how you're gonna get out. If you're in a big mosh pit crowd and you're distressed, wave at the security. Let your, your fellow friends and fans around you know what's happening. They'll get you out. This is, this is more important than the music. It really is. Uh, your safety. I, I lost a dear friend in that great white fire in Providence, Rhode Island years ago. So if you're in a small place, know where those exits are. I sound like somebody's dad right now. It's like, <laughs> hey, we came here for fun and Lou's lecturing us on safety. Um, so I'll stop with that. But um, that's, a, that's an important kind of thing and uh, always something to remember. I'm glad things uh, have turned out so well here so far.